Son is a porno! Hey guys, what the flip is up, tubers? This is gonna be a fun video. I wanted to do something more festive. I haven't done anything spooky yet. What's the day? The 21st? Haven't gone to a hayride, haven't gone to the pumpkin patch, I haven't gone to any haunted houses, I haven't done shit. The Ralph's parking lot was my pumpkin patch this year. <laughs> I got this honker at Ralph's, and honestly, it is so beautiful. Look at these dimensions. This is literally a perfect pumpkin, am I wrong? When I was walking up to the carton of pumps, this one was just standing so pretty on top. It just caught my eye. She was such a thick bitch. She's so bad, so plump. She's got that fat ass. Like, she's got a nice hole. <laughs> That's a nice hole. Jesus. And the first thing that I thought of when I saw this bad bitch was Billy Ray's face. Dang, flab it. I decided I was going to carve Billy Ray's face into this pumpkin or try my best to do so. Some of you who probably don't know me are probably watching me being like, please, carving Billy Ray Cyrus. Like, wow, it's so quirky, Sarah. Listen, whores. I'm not trying to be quirky. I actually have a deep love for Billy Ray Cyrus and the people that have been watching me for a while know that. He's such a gorgeous and humble man. He's like the best dad. Two years ago when I moved to LA, I was feeling a lot of Billy Ray energy for the first time. You know those like little diagrams of where it shows the sections of people's brains and what they're thinking about? I want to say a good 40% chunk was Billy. I don't know why. I felt his energy in the air when I moved to LA two years ago. Turns out, I guess, my friend told me this, I guess he lived very close to me at that time at my old apartment. It's no wonder that I was feeling his energy so strong. He was like literally in my vicinity. That sounds so stupid, but I love the man And so then after I was told that information I was thinking about him even more <laughs> My boyfriend was visiting me in LA at that time and we got into an argument I can't remember what the fuck the argument was about, but we got into a fight, right? I started it. I was being a bitch. I'm gonna admit that I was being absolutely insane I told him to leave my apartment because I needed to do something and he was like, what are you gonna do? I was like, I, I need, need to film. film. I, I need, need to film, film a video. video. And he was like, okay. And so he like went to Barnes and Noble, right? And as soon as he left, I just dressed up like Billy. It was right after I found out that he lives close to me. And I legitimately <laughs> made a Billy Ray Cyrus skincare routine. Scoop the doop doop like you're scooping some cow poo. I look back on that video. I channeled Billy's energy so strongly where I had to become him. Um, I moved into my new apartment. So I got this custom made. Um, it's my Billy Ray poster. Every time I walk down the stairs, I see this beautiful face. And it just honestly, it makes me motivated every day. It reminds me like, hey, if he can get a song on Billboard Hot 100 for how many any week straight people then I can do anything tell me the Old Town Road remix doesn't inspire your ass okay so I'm gonna try to put this picture of Billy on this pumpkin that's what we're doing today people but first in case you guys just got pregnant from that photo that I just showed you or you're nervous about getting pregnant just by thinking about whomever it may be I'm stoked to be saying that I'm partnering with Simple Health basically what Simple Health is is it's an online service where they literally ship birth control to your door you just have to fill out a questionnaire and an actual doctor will deliver your birth control to your door it's so simple you don't need insurance hassle free you don't have to have those awkward conversations with anybody my first time getting birth control was super awkward because my mom didn't know that I was having sex so if you're uncomfortable having those conversations maybe this service will be helpful for you and a lot of people don't have access to birth control so simple health is really Really trying to expand that for the women in the US so it's easier for you guys if you use my code you can try simple health for free just go to simplehealth.com slash basca or use my code basca at checkout 
you get to try it for free. But disclaimer, listen to me. Simple Health is not a replacement for regular checkups with your doctor. Keep seeing your doc, get an annual pap smear, get checkups, let them look all up in your shit. They also sent me some really cute stuff. They sent me this t-shirt, they sent me this, they sent me these cute woman stickers, and they also sent me some cute Simple Health chapstick. Thank you so much Simple Health for sponsoring me, and if you wanna take advantage of that, click the link below or use Basca at the checkout. So I bought this little kit thing at Ralph's. I was honestly just looking for a pumpkin, but then this was right next to it. It's a carving kit. Is this a coloring book? Oh, that's cute. They think I'm gonna use one of their designs. Basic. Super goop scoop. Ew, those are awful words. Y'all know how I feel about oop words. Goop. Ew, that's almost worse than poop. Okay, I got my utensils. Don't know what, the oh, is this a marker? Ugh, cute. I have to sketch the Billy Ray Cyrus. This is gonna be the hardest part. I suck at drawing, especially portraits, I can't. I might have to take this off camera because I, I feel like I'm gonna be too pressured with you guys just staring at me. Or should I keep it cute and like have you guys watch me and I'll just like speed it up? Decisions. Just know that while I'm doing this, I'm playing Lights Up by Harry Styles. I just realized that I didn't give myself enough room for the mullet. And also, do I cut it first? <sighs> How to carve a pumpkin. God, I'm such an idiot. Today, I'm going to show you some of my favorite Halloween pumpkin tips. Hollow it out and carve out the face. Oh. You can see I've cut out a nice big hole for the mouth. This is terrible. <laughs> this was a horrible idea. But I used Sharpie, so I have to do it. I'ma just show just in case it turns out awful. I don't know how to like. There's the mullet, I made it too big. It's freaking huge. I just realized that that looks like Michael Jackson. <laughs> like that looks exactly like Michael Jackson. Wow. I feel like I'm giving brain surgery. I don't remember the last time I carved a pumpkin. This is hard. All right, I managed to not cut the mullet off. How do I get this part off? Do I have to go around it again with this bullshit? Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking, baby. Now we're fucking cooking. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't even see it. Dang it, the big reveal. Okay. Oh my God, ew. You know what? Ew, it smells like ass. That smells like ass. ass. Pumpkin smell to <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I don't know if I can do- I actually do remember the last time I carved a pumpkin. My family never carved pumpkins growing up because they thought it was satanic and I was robbed at that as a child. So the first time I ever carved a pumpkin was two years ago, and I was at Will's house. I was visiting him at college. I remember when I got to this part, I literally threw up in my mouth. Like I had to run to the bathroom because the smell is so weird. Am I crazy? I might need to burn some incense just to help me. I'm not being dramatic. And just also, it just feels like you're performing surgery. Like I know this is beautiful and it's like natural, Y'all, I, I just, I'm not even kidding. This, the smell of that is so bad. Holy fuck, I need a light incense. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. Oh my god, okay. Not only was it the pumpkin smell, but it was actually rotten too. This is triggering that right now. I got my incense burning, so it's kind of distracting my senses. No, yeah, so that was really embarrassing. I was <clears throat> I was with all of Will's friends. I was having a meltdown. It was so embarrassing. They were like, Sarah, chill out. And I'm like, look, look at my, my pumpkin. pumpkin. It's black <laughs> and moldy. That was my first time and that was, that was my look. These look like intestines. 
I'm keeping those seeds though. I'm gonna make some pumpkin. Oh my god. Also, I just wanted to say on my last video, the one with me and Christelle being drunk versus sober. First of all, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that video. It was really fun to make. But second of all, I got more than one comment about how y'all like legitimately are scared for me. Like you guys think I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> What? Like, I got this one comment. They were like, you guys, I'm like a student at whatever the fuck. And I honestly think that Sarah has an actual problem. Like, I think she's an alcoholic. Like, we should be concerned for her as her fans. And I read that. I had to laugh. Everything that I show on social media is not my day-to-day. -day. You're just getting little glimpses of my ass. Doesn't an alcoholic mean that you're dependent on alcohol for functioning? I don't wake up every morning and reach for a brewski. I don't get hammered on my own. Yes, I do go out with my friends and I drink, but I'm 22. Love you guys and I appreciate the concern. <laughs> I would let you guys know if I actually had a problem. I would seek help. My dad and my sister are both therapists. Like they would have called that shit out way before anything. You have nothing to worry about people, I'm fine. I hate that I have to say that, but I got so many comments like that. I was like, you guys, chill. La, 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 la. This looks like some angel hair cheddar pasta. It's kind of tricking my brain. I want to like take a big scoop and eat it, but I would throw up. So next I'm going to carve Billy's face. That looks terrible, but let's just, let's just get tuned with it. So I'm going to start on the mullet. <laughs> and just work my way down. Actually, is it this one? I'm gonna do the big one for the mullet because his mullet is thick. I made it so thick. She's a thicky. Oh God, I already committed. Here we go, here we go, tubers. I didn't tell you guys this yet. It literally just happened a few nights ago. I had a mental breakdown the other night just about life shit you know how it is my patreoners will know what's up if you're not a patreon then get on that train i was crying about some shit christelle came home from work and she was talking about korea because she's going to korea with a few of her friends in a couple days and she was like showing me her airbnb that they got and, and i got fomo and i was in the middle of a mental breakdown too so like fomo plus mental breakdown i'm just like damn and then she was like oh wait Sarah, my friend backed out. Like you should come. Ha 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 ha. That would be so impulsive and stupid of me. But I was like, perfect. I'm, I'm going, going to, to Korea, Korea in two Korea. days. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just cause I was just having one of those nights. I was not feeling inspired. I was not feeling good about myself. You know those nights. We were like listening to sad emo shit just to make you even more sad, just to validate your feelings. Literally booked a trip to Korea. In two days! My mom had to overnight shit my passport. What am I doing y'all? <laughs> but that's gonna be some dope content. Dope content. What the fuck? I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to Korea. If I have any Korean tubers, hit me up. What are the places to go to? I want to see the culture! So that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to get a video out for you guys before Halloween, so... Here I am, hacking away at this Billy Ray Cyrus pumpkin. Where's my Sharpie? Where'd you go?! <sighs> I was doubting myself at the beginning, but then I figured out how to carve the mullet. I carved the little ear out. I carved the eyes out, bitch. I'm about to carve the nose. I feel like this is gonna be epic. Billy, if you're watching this, I'm your biggest. Face just broke. How did that happen? 
I may be able to duct tape it. <sighs> What's the point? Yo, I was, okay, I was doing so well. So the face was like this, right? And I was carving out all of these extra edges so that the mullet could really stand out. I carved the eyes out, I was carving the eyebrows out. Fuck my life. <laughs> oh my God, the ear just broke off. Dude, I was about to do the mustache and the nose. sorry i am so sorry for failing you like this i was on to something i was on to something huge i thought this was going to be an epic portrait like fuck my life billy i'm sorry i failed you this is really heavy <sighs> billy i'm sorry tubers i'm sorry this sucks but you know what i did get far i thought that I I would break the whole thing by the first step. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Maybe next Halloween I can do it right. God damn. My whole shit's a mess for what? For what? Couldn't even make some decent art. It would be one thing if this turned out dope, but now I gotta fucking vacuum and deal with my neighbor tomorrow. My neighbor's pissed. At me. Did you not hear that? I was screaming. For what? For what? Nothing. I'm a failure. You guys give it a try. And if you guys can accomplish this task, I'll scream. I dead ass will scream. With this picture, tag me in it. And if it looks good, tag me in it. You can't even carve something like your face. I'll give you that, Billy. There's too much curvature. There's too much dimension in your hair flow. There's too much oomph going on. I could never capture the essence of your face in a pumpkin. What was I thinking? God damn. But on a real note, damn it. I'm so sad. It's fine. I swear I'm good. This will blow over in a few days. I'll be fine. <laughs> Happy Halloween.